What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video we're talking World Rugby Rankings and how they have updated after the final round of the Six Nations and then obviously the Tier 2 games that have also affected some of the rankings within this past weekend. Now when I did the last World Rugby Rankings I didn't think we would see much change but my have the tables have turned. When Scotland beat France things started changing and obviously we did we but a lot of people thought France were going to take this one and win the Guinness Six Nations title for 2021, possibly, or just beat Scotland and Wales would still take the Six Nations title. But that wasn't the case. Credit and respect to Scotland for bouncing back and showing the world that they can indeed prove the critics wrong. It was an exciting game. It was an intense game. It was a nail-biter. But Scotland prevailed and have indeed improved their world rugby rankings this past weekend. Six Nations 2021 is officially over and therefore we have seen the final rankings that will be uh, for quite some time until the big games start kicking off um, as we approach the Lions Tour as we approach New Zealand, uh, sorry, Australia and France and a few other surprises along the way as New Zealand take on a few, I think, specific island teams as well. So there's still changes that could be made in the world rankings as we close one international window and wait for the next to start in just a couple months' time. So loads of rugby to look forward to still to come. If we look at some of the changes this weekend, we saw Portugal go up three places from 24 to 21st in the world ranking so they are just short of breaking the top 20 mark england after not even playing a game they go from fourth to third so although their six nations rankings isn't looking good in fifth place they at least went from fourth back to third and that is due to the fact that scotland beat france this past weekend by scotland who are dropped lower in the world rankings they were ninth by beating france obviously gives france a hell of a drop and therefore they lost two spots in the rugby rankings but before we get there ireland also shifted up from fifth to fourth so they continue to rise which is great for ireland and if i will be happy with that even though the campaign wasn't as good as what they would have wanted but it definitely shows Ireland are improving and moving up. Scotland moved from ninth to 8th position, um, so they'll be happy with that. France going from 3rd to 5th after their loss to Scotland this past weekend. Argentina also moving down the rankings because of Scotland uh, moving up. So they are now 9th when they were 8th. Hong Kong moved from 22 to 21. Canada moved from 23 to, so, sorry, from 22 to 23 uh, Hong Kong was 21 to 22 and Namibia have dropped as well 23 to 24 so the top teams are still South Africa New Zealand followed by now England in third place Ireland in fourth France in fifth they'll be disappointed about that Wales stick to six so nothing really changed with that outcome obviously they didn't play this past weekend but still interesting statistics there um, and Australia remained seventh Scotland could go from 9th to 8th, as I said, and then Argentina 9, and Japan remains in 10. World rugby rankings are indeed confusing, as not many people understand. It's because, obviously, it's chopping and changing. South Africa haven't played since 2019, yet they're still number one. But as we run through those guys, uh, the big one was, obviously, Scotland beating France this past weekend, which shot um them a little bit up but shot france two spots down it was an interesting six nations tournament and i've got a recap video coming after this one so make sure you hit that subscribe button um, of the whole tournament what a conclusion what a way to end um a tournament that was filled with challenges and issues with COVID 19. um obviously it's a massive thing for the guys to to deal with the situation of no crowd i mean that must be a massive impact for the players around the world so it's a big one for them but they'll be able to bounce back strong be, be positive and, and know that at least we got a tournament finished with one little hiccup but we managed to get that game back within the tournament and we ended off did that game affect the tournament at all france versus scotland well i do think it did because france were obviously kicked off well told to wait a couple of weeks because of the COVID-19 16 of the management or of the team in itself 
got affected with COVID-19 and that would have given them a knock recovery fitness and all that jazz so I do believe that had an impact but um, would it have changed the results I don't know maybe it could have maybe it wouldn't have but it was a big thing to happen for France I think they'll be quite upset with how things ended for them because since the COVID-19 break or, or, or when they couldn't play they weren't as strong as how they started the tournament so I think a few things will be getting them a bit there but I think they can at least be proud of what they produce they're a young team they're growing they're developing and it's onwards and upwards for them from here on out so we'll have to wait and see what happens as the 2021 season continues later this year Loads more rugby to look forward to. A lot of excitement in the air as we finish the tournament. Obviously, no more international rugby for a bit, but we've got the Rainbow Cup to look forward to. we still got the rugby championship later this year. Lions Toys confirmed in two months' time and other international games for us to look forward to. But also Super Rugby Aotearoa and Super Rugby AU is still underway. So loads more to look forward to. So don't go anywhere. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys along this journey. It's been a cracking one and thanks for the support in the six nations don't go anywhere i've got a whole recap video coming for you soon and uh, yeah it's been an interesting one well done to wales for winning the 2021 six nations title um, and to the other teams hard luck but pick yourselves up and we'll see you soon next year in the 2022 season of six nations rugby it is called the greatest rugby tournament for a reason and they produce the results under the circumstances so well done to all the european teams for entertaining us with quality rugby that's going to do it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i'll see you soon for another one stay safe and never give up cheers